Hello guys, um, this is the Doctor again, we're back with another Garry's Mod video and this one is going to show you another step towards becoming a master at Geomod. This is episode 3 in the series and this episode I'm going to show you how you can kind of change the ways of your world to match your interest. It's only going to be a basic kind of like um, bit of console command which kind of like could uh, improve some of your video work in Garry's Mod and um, overall kind of quality of gameplay if you want to use it while you're doing your own sandboxing or you want to use it while you're doing your um, videos your machinimas or uh, anything like that so if, um, I don't know, I've covered it in the last video a little bit about the camera with the camera if you click the camera and you my camera key, this is so I can switch to what the camera's viewing, is an impad enter you shoot wherever you want to look wherever the camera if you're looking right here and you put the camera, the camera will look exactly where you're looking so if I click there and I press enter it'll look there the other way of doing this is to right click it and the camera will then follow wherever you are. So I'm here now, doing a dead pull, dance, teabagging, the, the camera will follow me. So I preferably like to use the static one, which I just shoot. However, uh, if I'm using tracking shots like I did in the murder music episode where I was following the boat, if I was in like a car or something or I was running after someone, I could use a doo -doo -doo quick tracking shot there. Kind of helpful sometimes, so... Yeah, let's um, yeah, go over it. So sometimes when you're filming in Gary's mod, you'll put your camera there, and then you'll have a person. So if I go into the half by two characters, and I click on someone, and I'm dragging them over, and they accidentally go, and they knock out your entire frame and ruin your shooting. You might even have to start again. There's a way that you can go about this and stop this from ever happening. So. Gary's mod comes with a static camera ability, so it puts it in there and then you can pretty much freeze it. And it used to be that Gary's mod would have this feature, and if you made the uh, camera static and you tried to remove it, it would be unremovable and you'd never be able to move your camera. And it was a huge bug, but they fixed it now. So now, if someone knocks into your camera, they're gonna no collide with it altogether. So yeah, I'll, yeah, that's all you need to do for that one. So I'll pretty much keep the camera static all the time. However, I think it works. Yeah, it actually does. So I've made just for this bit. Yeah, click on someone, try and move them into the camera. Camera's not having it now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's how that works. So now, if, let's say you wanted to get a shot of someone falling off a building, right? And you don't want to get a shot of this. Let's have a look. Let me just... You don't have this add-on, hopefully. Oh, yeah, not hopefully, but I don't think you'll have this add-on if you made this video. You might do. This is called Realistic Walking on. Basically, you don't want this for your video. You don't want someone falling like this. It looks very amateur and it looks very unrealistic. Even this isn't... Nah, uh, see, it's just no good. So the best way of doing this is to get your character whatever you want falling off. Let's say I'll have Alex, right? Disable the thinking. Let's um, spawn a properly actually. And let's say I have a shot. Let's line up a shot really. Let's make a camera here. And let's put a magnum to a head. Let's not actually use Alex. I think she won't. I think she'd be too easy to kill. I mean, it's too hard to kill, so she normally takes a couple of hits. Let's just use G-Man. Oh no, Breen. We'll use Breen. So you put Breen here, and let's um, line up the shot. So you press enter on our shot. This is a bad shot, by the way, but it's just a test. So if I now click on half by two, and the Magnum, point the Magnum right at its, at its head, and we get this shot of, like, you know, Matrix dodge this, something like that, and then we um, go into... If you have fraps or whatever whatever recording software you have, you start recording now or hide your hood, start recording and then you have this shot of that. So yeah, you can have that shot, but then you want the shot of actual Wallace doing this, you know, falling, but you want the camera to follow and kind of follow his head. So there's a way of achieving this which pretty much followed the same principles of how we made our couch. If we get the spawn list tab open, we click on Half-Life the characters, and we choose our um, Breen. We then want to 
I'm gonna use a stun pulse for that, as it's just a quick and easy method of getting your prop to sway your, yeah, your player model to stand up. However, well, the player model, the model, sorry, just to stand up for ragdoll. However, you can manually easily just, um, Yeah, it's spawning this in. You can easily just, we just enable the hoodlock for the. You can easily just grab his head, and all these bar parts of his body are all single freezes each, because they're all si single bit parts. You have to single, kind of like freeze him in a position where it looks like he was stood up from before. However, it's not going to look as good, we just change his eyes. To look. And I want the face to be that feel. So yeah, he's looking at something. Yeah, this is just we'll cover over face poses and stuff later. Like so yeah, we put him in the stamp pose. Let me just get the actual stamp pose tool open because if you want any of these tools. Just comment under the comment section, I'll tell you where they are, or I'll probably show them in a later video. Put him in the stand pose, I'm going to just lower his arms, because I'm not really happy with the way his arms are out like this. So put his arms like this. Arms like this. But now, what I want to do is I want to spawn my camera. Now I want to turn the static off, because this won't work with the, st the static is on. So when we didn't like it before, when the ragdoll knocked into the camera and it fell off, this is where we actually need that feature. We spawn our camera in, and we then freehandly move it over to green. We want the kind of camera to kind of sit where his head is and then follow him the whole way down, don't we? Like, we want our Deadpool to be like, yeah, and then we want him to fall. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what we did with the couches and we're going to no collide him and the camera. And then we're going to put his head in the camera we're going to move it a bit. So now he has a head for a camera and then we're finally going to just, I'm going to just pull it back a little bit like that. You can see Breen's skin a little bit. Just going to pull it to the side like this. Oh shit. use that. So let me just dip it down. Yeah, that's fine. That'll be it. That'll be it. No. So now all we've got to do is just, I'll just leave a little space for his head so we can weld it later because it'll just be useful for us later. Yeah, there's a space for his head to be welded. So all we've got to do now is we did with the couches. We weld, make sure there's no limit. And we just weld him in the couch. Okay, let me try that again. <laughs> Some things don't work out for me sometimes on this game. Oh god, that was annoying. I um, let me get a second camera. That camera wasn't really being like nice to me. Oh my camera, we don't need that camera. Yeah. No collider. Forgot about that. No collide. I'm gonna go with about that. A little bit back. Let's just make sure we have this welded on because that was annoying now. Make sure that's all we Ah, good. So now we have his camera. I'm just trying to move Green's face. Ah, oh, his head's stuck, I think. Oh. Fuck off, Green, man. You really annoy me now. Uh, I'm just trying to get his head. Do that well. Let's try that again. Last time now. Oh, I'm just gonna leave. I said I'm literally just gonna. No 
Try welding again. Ah, oh, good. There we go. That's what we want. So now, if we look, we've got green. You can kind of see his own legs. You look down. See, look, he can view himself. Yeah, this is green now. This is in the vision of green. So now, if we re click the stand pose for him, we're posing. Stand pose. He's now. Looking at us. Oh, that's a cool shot, though. I like that shot. Let me get a better Magnum. That Magnum looks kind of crap. That looks like a cool shot. You're dead. Alright. So, yeah. Oh, we could. Literally, I'm going to just show you this. There's two ways of going about this. And um, we could easily go on the duplicator, which is here. Nice. Get our green. Don't worry about that. Yeah, it's fine. Let's put our brain down. And we can easily select physics gun. Press R on him. Go on to brain. Throw forward and then let go of the mouse. We throw him off. We can get that shot. And that looks kind of cool and it works. It does work. I'll, I'll, but I'm going to go for a little bit more kind of accurate. So let's just get it about there. What I want to do is when I go on the weld and this weld limit, I want to set the weld to about say 100. You then want to weld limit, camera, and green head to the floor. Ah, that's not enough, that's not enough. Try that again. Stand pose. There. Weld limit. Wow, let's say. There, I'll do. Let's just weld his head. There. Floor. Ah, no! You did. Try it one last time. Say, going in again. Weld, seven hundred odd. No! Mate, what are you doing? Right, set it to a thousand. I'm just gonna pick it a thousand it'll have to be. Nearly did it then. I think his body weight was just too much to handle it. Set it to a thousand. Hopefully that'll work. Well, thousand. Ah, good, 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 good. That's good. Right. So now if we get our pistol, we then aim it at Green's head, which is around about through there. It's so about his chin there. We then go to our Deadpool shot. And then I'm going to get it there. I'm going to kind of aim it at the camera, kind of, I think. Yeah, that'll do. And then you want to just... Record, fire. So you want to click the cord now. Right, get, get rid of the drawing. Get rid of the hood. And you want to click record round about now. And then if that doesn't work. Cord again, fire. If that doesn't work. Cord again, fire. So if none of these are working, you want to try and shoot for his head now. So now if we shoot his head, there you go. There's our shot of Deadpool shooting. Deadpool. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode, um, hope you enjoyed it, um, yeah, so this is probably going to be it uh, for just this episode because it's pretty much uh, a hard kind of 
shot to kind of get but once you've got it down and you know how to do it it's easy i'm going to do another episode soon about how you can change kind of like the physics of this world to get kind of different shots all right guys thanks for watching this has been the doctor thank you